Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics, happy to see you here and really interesting exponential equation today, really interesting mesh challenge today, we have x to the power x to the power 3 equal to 36. So what is the correct answer? Write your suggestion down into the comment section because it looks like pretty basic, pretty easy question, but a lot of students don't know how can we solve it, so in this video I'm going to fully explain you how can we do this quickly and without any problems. Uh, for solving this question we should know a really interesting trick right here. Take a look closely, let's raise both sides to the power 3. So we have x to the power x to the power 3 and we raise both sides so left hand side we all raise this expression to the power 3 and this is equal to 36 of course the same 3 so we should raise both sides to the power 3 left hand side and right hand side this is really important for this first step right here we should know a really interesting a really interesting trick someone called this rule of interchange but i want you to look at it if you don't know about this trick this is really, really interesting and really helpful trick so if we have a to the power x, if we raise this to the power b, for example, yeah, we can write it uh, all known, this is all known rule, we can write it as a to the power x times times b, yeah, we can write it as a product. But we know that the product, we can easily swap this value, so we can write it as a to the power b times x, okay, we can easily swap this, because the product doesn't matter, 2 times 3 is 3 times 2, we will have the same answer. But according to this expression, we can write it as a to the power b, raised to the power x. And if you look closely in the beginning, we have a to the power x to the power b. And right here, a to the power b to the power x. So it implies that we can easily swap this x and b right here and right here. And if you look closely at our expression, someone called this rule of interchange. So if you look at our expression, so we have our power outside and power inside. Power inside is x cubed. So this is the same as x, this is the same as b. So we can easily swap this swap these two powers okay what we have as a result we have x to the power 3 to the power x to the power 3 so this 3 goes right here inside parentheses and outside x to the power 3 which is equal to 36 to the power 3 so i hope you understand this step this is a really important step i want you to understand this step at first what we're going to do next let's try to simplify this 36 to the power 3 because on the left hand side we have same base and same exponent so we have x cube this is the same this is looks like our base and we have the same x cube so this looks our base and uh, our exponent are uh, this is absolutely the same and right here we have not the same so let's try to uh, simplify this 36 to the power 3 so 36 to the power 3 let's simplify this so 36 to the power 3 we can write it as 6 square raised to the power 3 yeah this 36 can be written as 6 square and right now let's apply, the, let's apply this rule, so 2 times 3 we can easily multiply it, yeah, this is our rule from here, yeah, this is our first, uh, first part, so we have 6 to the power 2 times 3 equal to 6, and really interesting moment right now. So let's rewrite this x cube and x cube, yeah, so we have x cube right here, x cube to the power x to the power cube, which is equal to 6 to the power 6, because we simplify this a little bit right here, so 6 to the power 6. Okay, if you look closely, take a look, we have x cube right here, same base, and x cube, same exponent. We have same base right here, 6, and same exponent, 6. So one and only case that this equation will have root is when base equal to base, or exponent equal to exponent. Because if we have like the same exponent and the same basis, so it doesn't matter what equation we take, so x cube equal to 6, this is our main equation right here, we should solve this, so x cube equal to 6 and from here x equal to cubes root cubes root of 6 okay this looks like our our answer but right now let's let's check it because a lot of students don't know about this uh, don't trust me and they should they should look at this at this solution so let's prove this this root right here so cubes root of 6 okay so we have cubes root of 6 we raise this to the power cubes root of 6 and we raise this to the power to the power 3 which is equal to, okay, if you look closely, cubes root of 6 to the power 3, it looks like only 6, because we raise this, it looks like square root of 6 to the power square, that is the same as uh, cubes root of 6 to the power 3, this is the same as 6. So we have cubes root of 6 to the power, right here we have we have 6, okay, which is equal to, this is looks like 6 to the power 1 third, so let's write it 6 to the power 1, 1 third to the power, to the power 6. Which imply that right here we have 6 square, because 1 third times 6 equal to 2. So we have 6 square, which is equal to 36. So a great and a correct, a correct rule. So let's write our answer, our answer, our answer. 
x equal to cubes root of 6. Cubes root of 6 is our solution to this challenge. Okay, I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need hel help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos with higher mathematics with really interesting challenges every day, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, write any comment, and that definitely helped me out for this particular video. So thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.